Hello, and welcome to the Cameron and Tia Show. I'm Tia, and I'm so excited to have you here today. Today, we are doing our 10 classic wedding poses for couples. Now, this is going to be a mixture of like our classic, we need to check these off, in addition to also things we need to check off, but they're a little bit more emotive. They're really capturing like the emotions, the joy of the day. So today, think of it kind of as a checklist. I'm gonna go rapid fire, I'm gonna show you some photo examples, and it's going to be both the classic things that we absolutely need, so basics, things that are gonna go on grandma's fridge, but in addition, it's gonna be also some poses and kind of a little bit of prompts that really encapsulate the emotion of the day, which is obviously like full blown freaking joy. So let's dig into it. We're gonna go rapid fire. I'm gonna show you some photos. Pose number one, we call it their classic on the wedding day. The couple is wrapped around the waist. The bride has her bouquet, she's showing it off. The groom, if there's a groom, he has his hand in the pocket. This is the photo that is going to go on grandma's fridge. They are smiling straight at the camera. There's a full body. There's also a cropped torso shot of that. It's the classic. We must get that first, and it is literally the first thing we do. Right after our first look, we just check it off. Pose number two is they then rotate chest to chest. They're facing their belly buttons straight towards each other. And then if there's a bride, she takes her bouquet and her back arm away from the camera. She puts it all the way over the groom's shoulders so that the bouquet just rests on the shoulders that adds that floral element up by the faces. We typically have them maybe um, go nose to nose, nuzzle noses, rest foreheads, close eyes, and then we'll get one where their temples are pressed against each other, squished, smiling straight at the camera. We love this because it just, it's still really classic, right? Like that's basically the same as the classic. It is basic, they're just chest to chest, but it gets some snuggle moments, it gets some cuddle moments, and it adds the colorful florals that are gonna tie into the whole rest of the day, the ceremony backdrop, the reception, the bridesmaids dresses. It gets them right front and center next to the couple's faces. Next, we love to do something that we call prom pose, which is where instead of chest to chest, where their belly buttons are facing straight towards each other, their belly buttons are facing the same exact way. So they're pointing straight to the side. Um, we typically snuggle them up. We'll maybe do a classic five of it where the groom might just have like a hand resting on the back hip. So you can't really even see it. It just keeps them connected. And then the front hand is in the pocket. And then the bride is holding both hands on the bouquet. Um, this is just something classic again, but it allows a little bit of variety. It allows their faces to get a little bit more snuggled as well. And if they have the same side that they like of their faces, this is the shot for that. Whereas in the classic, they're facing inwards, so it's like the person one's right side of their face, person two's left side of their face. In prom pose, it's both person one and person two's right side of their face. So that's nice to give them some variety in that way. Pose number four is what we call backwards V. So what happens is the couple is facing away from the camera and they're facing in at a V like this. Why we love this on a wedding day and why we make sure to check this off is this is where we are able to get everything on the bride, typically, that she is wanting to show off and made intentional choices about. So, the back of her hair, her veil, her back of her dress, if she has a deep V to the back of her dress, her train, her um, any like lace that's on the back, Anything like that, we wanna make sure that we can get for sure a shot of that, and backwards V is a perfect place to do that. So when they're in backwards V, what we'll typically do is have them twist over their inside shoulders to smile back at the camera, like these examples. We'll also have maybe like the bride's eyes fall to the ground while the groom nuzzles in, or any variations like that. But it's great because we can take care of those details that are on the back of the bride's side. Next, we do what we call side linked. So typically person one, maybe that's the groom, is facing straight towards the camera, belly button's facing that way, Person number two, if it's a bride, is facing belly button straight in towards the groom. So they're kind of at an angle like this. Um, what's nice about that is you get a nice side profile of this person too. And something that we kind of check off also is that we'll have the bride pass her bouquet to the groom's right hand in this case so that he can hold it low and facing the bloom straight towards us. It gives us some great variety with the bouquet. Um, it also gives us the bouquet against the groom's suit, which is another color palette that we love to be able to work into blogs um, because that kind of ties into a lot of other elements of the day versus the bouquet on typically a white dress is a totally different vibe than the bouquet on maybe the groom's navy or tweed suit. So um, he'll put it holding low and then the bride will wrap both of her arms snuggle bugged around the groom's arms there. So that's side linked. Okay, pose number six. So we're getting a little bit more into prompts. We call this a butt shelf. <laughs> Cam made up that name, but it's so good. Everybody always knows what it means when you start talking about it. So butt shelf is when the couple is facing straight in towards each other and then the groom 
picks up the bride, makes a butt shelf with his arms, so underneath the booty, and picks her straight up so that her head is just like right above his, and then they can smile down at each other, they can kiss, they can twirl, all of the things. Um, this is awesome because we typically use it as kind of like an epic shot, like maybe with the huge vastness of the venue or like the rolling hills behind them. It's great for sunset photos when maybe the dress is bustled and it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, but this is an epic shot. People often use this for like thank you cards. If they don't use the classic, this is probably second place because they love having a shot that's just like, oh, wow. Um, or this is also a first Insta post after they're married. Definitely usable. Pose number is this eight? You guys, this is seven. Is twirl and a dip kiss. Classic, but we wanna make sure that we always get, again, all these are, we just wanna make sure that we get these. These are not like groundbreaking, but we wanna make sure that we get the bride twirling, and then typically we'll just roll right into a dip kiss. A dip kiss is another one that's like a great epic shot in front of the venue or at an epic sunset. Um, dip kiss is great because it also has like that connection element, but they probably have practiced in some capacity for like a grand entrance or like the end of their first dance, something like that. So they're like excited to kind of show that off too. Okay, now pose number eight baby in a cradle so baby in a cradle is where the groom picks up the bride like a baby in a cradle this way um we'll typically have her arm come around him so that she's not awkward like kind of tucked there and then the right hand can either like go around his neck or just like rest there anything like that um a couple variations is he can just pick her up that's cute on its by itself but then also twirling um dipping dip kissing there swishing back and forth again this is one that we typically pull out at sunset photos when the bride is bustled and when they're just feeling a little bit more like oh i'm excited to be picked up versus like oh i'm stressed i like want to keep my makeup good before the ceremony any vibes like that so just fun lighthearted. The next, pose number nine, is walking towards the camera, walking away from the camera, and walking sideways, like parallel with the camera. We love to get all these variations. Um, we'll typically use them as transitions to the next spot. So like we'll finish with first look, chest to chest, and then we'll do the bouquet around the shoulders, and then we'll be ready to go to the next spot. And so we'll walk forward towards the camera as we go there. Then when they're leaving sunset photos, they'll walk away from the camera, just snuggled with their arms around each other's waist. Um, we love, love walking parallel to the camera for another one of those like epic venue shots or like a beautiful tree overarching the shot anything like that it's a nice one because they can kind of like glance back at each other glance forward glance at the camera giggle at the camera anything like that and the final shot is shot number 10 um this kind of comes back to the emotions of the day i would say a lot of these like lifty ones and walking so like baby in a cradle a butt shelf anything like that brings out the joy brings out the like oh my god we're freaking married like how awesome is that but we always make sure and typically we do this when we finish sunset photos to get some sort of like excited pumped hands in the air ring shot goofy poses anything to make sure that we have that vibe in our gallery of like oh my god they're freaking pumped they're so excited to be married so yeah a lot of times um we'll have our couples walk back towards the venue at the end of sunset photos and we'll have them throw their hands in the air and celebrate or we'll say okay i'm gonna say ready set go hit a ring pose hit another excited pose hit another excited pose and we'll just go for it um by that time in the day they're like warmed up with us they're like very comfortable they might have had like a drink or two and they're like okay i'm gonna pop out my ring pop out my ring pop out my ring we get a lot of like personality shot vibes in this um which is great okay so if you like today's video we have a ton more posing education we actually have a free guide that has 20 of our favorite prompts and yeah it's totally free so i'm gonna pop the link in the description click on that head over there um today we were really talking about posing for the most part besides when we added in some flavor of like spinning the baby in the cradle dipping the baby in the cradle the next step is prompts prompts invite emotion they invite joy, they invite reactions. And so the guide is focused on our 20 favorite prompts. So I want you to head to the description, head on over there, get it totally free. You can just download it right away. We love putting out this free content. So if you wanna support us, give us a like, give us a comment, make sure you subscribe. We would absolutely love that. And until next time, bye.